Hi guys, welcome to Lixa YouTube channel. My name is Ram Mishra and I am your online instructor. So what's in this video? In this video, I will tell you how to create first Jenkins job. So guys, let's begin the topic. But before start the lab session, we have to understand few points, which is what is Jenkins job and its use cases. So Jenkins jobs are given a set of tasks that run sequentially as defined by the user. Any automation implemented in Jenkins is a Jenkins job. These jobs are significant part of the Jenkins build process. We can create and build Jenkins job to test our application or project. So let's begin the lab session. We'll see how we can set up first Jenkins jobs. As you can see, this is my VMware workstation and here I have one Linux virtual machine and currently I'm using RHEL 9. ETC Red Hat release 9.2. And let me show you the IP address of this machine also. IP address of this machine is 192.168.60.128. Right. So I have already installed Jenkins on this Linux box, but if you don't know how to install Jenkins, please go to my previous video where I have mentioned how you can install Jenkins in Jenkins playlist. You can install Jenkins uh, on on frame physical machines or virtual machines or cloud environment or container environment anywhere. For this demonstration, I installed Jenkins in my Linux based virtual machine. Let's check the Jenkins service status first. System CTL status Jenkins. So now you can see that it is active, running, and enabled, right? So let me take the web console of my Jenkins dashboard from Google Chrome and then we will start our first project. So IP is 60.128. So 192.168.60.128 colon. 8080 default Jenkins ports. So let that come. Yep, give the username, give the password, and I'm login with username, name, and password. Right? So let it be login. Okay, now you can see the we have a currently dash in the Jenkins dashboards. So I'm logging with user ID and password and this is my Jenkins dashboard. Now let's start the Jenkins job. So you can create a job from create job option like from here create a job or you can go with the new item like this, right? You will get the same window if you go with new item or create job. So I'll click on the new item. So I will click on this one. Now let's give the job name. So I'll give the job name say project one and then you can find out <coughs> sorry. Here you will find out a number of types of job options that we can create like freestyle job project, pipeline, multi-configuration project, and GitHub or multi-branch pipeline option, right? Uh, as of now, I go with the basic one, which is freestyle project. So I select this one and then click OK. So it will create some basic stuff and will ask for some configuration. So we can uh, configure uh, these configuration to settings according our project, right? So let it be load. It's coming up. Yeah, here it is. So here you can see multi options are available like journal. If I scroll down, we have source code management, build triggers, build environments, build steps, and post build section and the end of this part, right? So let's go. Uh, first option is journal setting where we can mention discussion about this job. Then we have uh, next is source code management. Source code management means uh, this is from where I can get my code. And then we have build triggers. So build trigger means what? Uh, that means how you want to trigger your build. Then build environment is there. A build environment is the information about the environment of your build and gives the option to compare the environment of two builds, right? Then we have a very important part, which is build step. So build step means here we need to tell exactly what we want to build. And finally, post build actions is there. Post build action means once our build is successfully done, what exactly you want to perform, this thing you have to mention here. 
So let's go one by one. So first of all, I'll go back and again back on the general settings. In the description, uh, here we will find uh, here we will find out few more options like uh, uh, you can go whatever you want. But uh, uh, here I'll I'll go some uh, some basic description, right? So I'll say hi. This is uh, or I'll go with this is my first project. Okay, that's sufficient. Now here you will find out few more options which will be discussed later, like discard old builds and how many old builds you want to discard and GitHub project something like that, which will be discussed later or not in this, in this demo, maybe some other video. Today my focus is to build some simple project. Now under the source code management, as of now I don't uh, want any uh, code from GitHub, so uh, I'll do it go with none. One we will get our code from GitHub repository. I will go with the GitHub, right? Then. In the build trigger option, you can select how you want to trigger the, this build job. Like remotely you want to trigger or uh, uh, you want to go with the build trigger after another build or periodically like cron scheduling. So as of now, because there is our simple project, I uh, I direct go to the build option, which is main part where exit what, uh, what exactly you want to build. So we can mention inside here build steps, right? So I'll select, uh, I'll open it. I'll select execute shell for Linux environment. If you're working with the Windows or Mac, you can go with the Windows batch options. So the first command which I want to run is echo command, right? So let me write down something for echo. Echo, welcome to, welcome to, uh, what to say, Jenkins project, okay? Now one more, say echo, then say project, execution time is I'll go with dollar date then what I want I want to redirect the output in demo underscore log dot txt oh, that's sufficient so this will print the eco custom message and will redirect uh, project execution time will date for within with the date format in inside demo underscore log dot txt let's save and quit so here you will find out save and apply two options are there, right? Save, save your changes and force you out of the current session and apply, apply, save your changes, but keeps you on the current session. So I clip on the save. Now done. This is the, my first project. I'll go back on my dashboard and I here I can see my project name is there, right? So now this is the default view. You can see that this is the default view of my first project. Let's build it and then we'll see what is the effect is going to be happen here. So if you want to build, click on this build schedule. And now let me reload it or refresh. You can see that it's okay, like green condition, right? So see, build is successfully done. Here you can see status. This is a status is success. Then the weather, weather is stable. Uh, weather is currently stable, no build failed. Stability is getting changed according to your result of your end number of build trigger, right? Then we have next the project name. This is my project name. And, uh, and we can expand the arrow key and build it from build it from here also. We can rename, configure, delete the project and number of things are option, option are there. We can use it. Then we have a last success and last failure count. And finally the time duration uh, to complete this job. And at last we have build trigger option available, right? So let's check the output of this build project. So what we can do, we can open the project and go with the build number this is the build number so if i open that one here you will find out console output right so if i click on the console output we can see the output of our result so here you can see the output the by default workspace the location is where live jenkins workspace project one the welcome eco message as well as the execution date time is available is here right so let's see that this job result inside the Linux box. So for that one, what we need to do, we need to move this workspace. So I need to copy it from here. Let it be copy and go back on my Linux machine one more time. Then I run the CD command, paste ls. Here you can find out demo log.txt, right? So here you can see build execution entry in the log text file. So let's back to the Jenkins dashboard. Whatever I'm going to do, perform, and that project, this is the location where it will be saved inside my Linux box, right? I'm back on my dashboard. And 
uh, here you can see this is the default view even you can create our own view in Jenkins dashboard so let's say I don't want to want this weather option or this build or build option in my view so I can create my new view from this plus symbol right so click on this one and give the name I said demo view then I'll go with the list format list view click on the create now uh, description this is for demo scroll down go to the job select your job that's a project one currently I'm working this project one and the column so now in the column section select what column you want to view so I want everything except weather so what I can do I can close that one I don't want I can delete that one right and I can remove it from here or you want to add few more columns so what you can do you can go with the add column option and number options are there so you can add any one as to as you need so now just say apply and OK. Now if I go back to the dashboard here you can see two views is there. First one is all which is the default one where weather option is available you can see that this is the all the weather option is available and second one is my demo view if I click on the demo view you can see that weather option is not available here right there is no column related to the weather part. So this is how you can make your own customized view. And if you want to delete this view, what you can do, you can click on the delete view, but be remember, don't delete the default one, right? So uh, guys, that's all about this demo. And um, if you want to remove the entire project, it's very easy. Just select that project one and you can delete that project. So I can delete it right now. Are you sure to want to remove? Yes, I am. So guys, finally, this is the end of this topic. Hopefully you enjoyed and learned new things. Soon I will come up with another new interesting topic. Till then, keep practicing. If you feel something I have missed or you wanted to know more something else, please reach out through my social media links, which is mentioned in the description. And if you like this video, please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe my channel and press the bell icon button for the latest update. Thanks for watching. Stay safe and goodbye.